You got one of these or one of these? Did you know that they could be smoke detectors for you? I know it's crazy, right? So listen, I know a lot of us have digital assistants in our homes and we use them for things like, you know, what time is it or what's the temperature outside? But check this out. We got to start thinking outside the box. These are smart devices. They're supposed to help us be a little smarter. Get smarter! And we can turn them into smoke detectors. Now, I got to give you a couple of caveats here. First of all, these are not going to replace smoke detectors. They're going to add on to your existing smoke detectors. So don't go around and just start throwing all your smoke detectors away. You still need those. But both the Alexa and the Google, and sorry for you Alexa users if I just activated Alexa on there on you, uh, both of these products have the ability to listen in, to see what's going on around your environment. In fact, when you think about it, it's kind of scary. It's what they do anyway, right? Because they're always listening for the keywords of okay, G, or hey, A. See, I was being nice and I didn't activate your digital assistance. The second caveat to this is that in April of 2022, the feature and services that require us to enable this on both Alexa and Google are only available to the users in the United States. I know, sorry, maybe they'll come out with them for you. Now, one of the biggest issues out there for us all when it comes to smoke detectors is that the guidelines basically say that we should put one in every bedroom. Uh, any space immediately outside of a bedroom, your living room, uh, lower landing um, balconies. Well, not outside balconies, but you know the ones that overhang inside your your homes. And we're supposed to make sure that they're basically on every single floor. And in an average house, that's like what eight to twelve smoke alarms. So the premium types of smoke alarms, like I have one by uh, Nest, it's not cheap. They're quite expensive, both being a smoke alarm and a and a uh, CO2 detector. And you can also purchase the, what do we call them, non dumb, dumb smoke alarms, and they're not too expensive. The only problem with them is that, again, they're not integrating with our smart homes. And that's kind of what we want, isn't it? So what we can do is both Amazon and Google offer this unique feature. It's kind of an alarm feature, but again, we're going to think outside the box. Oh, sorry, any Apple folks out there with HomePods, as of the recording of this particular video, they don't have this feature available to us. And it's really kind of sad because there's some really cool things out there for iPhones and iPods. Let's start off with the Google Nest solution. Now, unfortunately, uh, there's not a free addition to this. They're going to link it into, or I should say Google's going to link it into their Nest Alarm system. So not that you have to have the alarm system, but you have to have the service for it. It's like six bucks a month, or I think they give you a discount for like $60 a year. But the feature is called sound detection. Yeah, sound detection, which means it's listening while you're away. It's listening for somebody breaking in the sound of broken glass, right? Or a door being bashed in. But it's also listening for any type of sound outside of the norm. Hey, I think our smoke alarms and CO2 detectors, that's kind of out of the norm, right? And so by activating this feature, if any of the nests in your home hears it, it's going to do something. Whatever it is you want it to do, it can notify you right away. You can go through and set up a routine, like start flashing lights or to notify you. Or I happen to have some really good neighbors we've been friends for years, I can notify them, hey, Dale's house is in trouble and maybe they'll help me out. Now, to set this up, it's relatively easy. You're going to go into the Google Home app. Then you'll go into settings. And under settings, you'll see an option called Nest Aware. The first time you click on it, at least as of the recording of this particular video, they're gonna give you a free 30-day trial. And then after that, they're gonna start billing you. But once you've activated it, you can select the sound detection and then configure the feature the way that you want. Now, it also does not have any type of arming or disarming feature with voice commands as of yet, but give Google a chance. I'm sure they'll get there. Ooh, give me a chance. Give me a 
Now, sidebar here, Google Nest also makes a device that's specifically there to detect uh, a smoke alarm or a CO2 detector. We then have the Alexa and all their different echoes that are out there. There's a free feature that's called Alexa Guard, and you can activate this one by opening up the Alexa app on your phone, going to settings, selecting guard, and then you just follow the instructions there. Now, just like the name sounds, guard, right? It's monitoring your home when you're away. And so you can enable it or disable it when you say things like, Alexa, I'm leaving, or Alexa, I'm home. Either one of those will turn this feature on and off. Once you turn this feature on, Alexa is listening for actually smoke alarms and CO2 detectors, as well as the sound of breaking glass. Now that's the free version. We all know how this goes, right? There's always a free and then there's a paid version. The paid version always has the features that typically you want. That's the same with almost anybody. But with Alexa, there's an advanced mode. It's called Alexa Guard Plus. Yeah, plus meaning more money. <laughs> the subscription model that includes, uh, allows it for listening for footsteps, uh, doors that are opening or closing. And it starts off at about five bucks a month. Again, at least at the recording of this particular video. And I think they give you like $50 a year, again, a small discount. But if you happen to have a Ring alarm system in place, it's free with the Ring Protect Pro plan. Once you activate one of these features, depending on which platform you're using, the question is, where do you put these bad boys? Well, that really does depend on how much coverage or how well you want the coverage to be. My suggestion is making sure that it's in any room where you have a smoke alarm. It doesn't have to be in the hallway, but just someplace where the devices can actually hear the alarm go off. Obviously, bedrooms is typically where we have some of these devices already, so that's a given. Either way, it's a great option for you to be able to smarten your house up a bit, turn those dumb smoke alarms into smart alarms for what? Less than 50 bucks? Well, that's all for now. Dale here, just dumbing down what I know to help keep your family and mine just a little bit safer and smarter with all the tech that we use. Now to learn more, check out the links below where we deep dive into what we've already learned. And by the way, you know the drill. If you'll hit that like button, comment, subscribe. See you next time.